So in the, the late 60s, I decided to move out of my apartment in the village. I just wanted to get out of the city. And a couple of musician friends of mine were trying to talk me into going with them and renting a huge house with like, I don't know how many bedrooms, but it had nine bathrooms in Englewood, New Jersey. And I said, yeah, yeah, country, fresh air. And I wasn't sure. And just then, Bob Weir calls me and said, we have a problem. We want to re-record our first album. And we are offered free recording time for 30 days at Gotham Studio, but we don't have a place to stay and we really can't afford. And can you help us? I said, wow, this big house and Bob Weir and the dead, and the this is meant to be. I said, fine, I can take care of you. Come on in. I signed a, a, a lease. We moved out to Jersey. They moved in. They recorded their album. Everything's going fine. Everything's wonderful. We're having a good time. Until one morning, Bob and Phil come down to breakfast. And I'm already late. And my father's tough as nails. And I'm going to get yelled at. I don't like that. And they said, we have to talk to you. I said, I, this is not the right time. I got to go to work. He said, no, no, we really have to talk to you. Can't wait for tonight? No, I can't wait for tonight. OK, what, what? They say, we're having trouble with our management, and we like you, we trust you, you take care of business, you help us out, you like our music, we want you to be our manager. I look up at them and I say, are you guys out of your mind? I'm late to work, I, I, goodbye, I'm gone. 